This morning's reading, Self-Effort 2 is Needed, is a follow-up on the last two weeks where we've been talking about the grace of the guru and how to attune to the guru. And that it's not enough in this reading, as it says, you can't just sit waiting passively for the guru to help you, to change you, but you have to enter into the process with your own energy. But what is that energy like? I want to talk about that this morning. Um, my husband, Bharat, is working on a book now about play, the importance of play. And he's coming up with some wonderful, wonderful stories. And one of them is about uh, a father who was coaching his son's basketball team, uh, eight and nine-year-olds. And he obviously was a very, very good coach because they were playing with great enthusiasm. They were having a wonderful time. They were making lots of points. They were way ahead of the other team. But what to me showed what a great coach he was, was that at halftime, they all came running up to him and they said, what's the score? What's the score? And he told them the score. And then he said, who's winning? <laughs> they, they just didn't even know what was happening. They were so immersed in the joy of what they were doing that they really weren't paying attention to who, who was winning. So as uh, Parvati was reading, there are a lot of people putting out a lot of effort in this world, working really, really hard. But that's not only what we're talking about here. And then there's also people who are just waiting for God to come to them. And that's not what we're talking about here. But that we're talking about as we put out tremendous energy, there's a grace that comes. This morning during the purification, Parvati told the story that Ramakrishna used to tell about the boat and that we have the boat that is to take us across the ocean of delusion and that boat is tied to the shore. And first we have to untie that boat. We have to let go of our attachments. But then we have to hoist the sail. We have to put out energy. And once that sail is hoisted, these winds of God's grace can carry us. And so that's the type of effort we want to put out to lift ourselves into God.